your guide to constellations, deep sky objects, planets, and events. Tonight's sky, highlights of the March sky. As the brilliant stars of winter progress toward the west, the constellations of spring make their appearance. Two March constellations derived from Greek mythology, Gemini and Cancer, lie in the zodiac. The zodiac is the ancient name for that band of sky through which the sun, moon, and planets appear to travel. The Gemini twins lie high overhead. They were among Jason's Argonauts, who sailed the seas searching for the Golden Fleece. The two bright stars are the heads of the brothers, Castor and Pollux. They are the 47th and 16th brightest stars in the night sky. Cancer, identified as a crab, or later a lobster, also lies in the zodiac. In Greek mythology, Cancer was placed in the heavens by Hera, wife of Zeus, to immortalize its futile but tenacious battle with Hercules. It is a much dimmer constellation than Gemini, hard to see in light-polluted skies. Within Cancer lies the lovely Beehive Cluster, also known as Praesepi. Ancient stargazers called it the Cloudy Star. This large cluster of about 200 stars lies approximately 577 light years away from us. Lonely Saturn graces the night sky all month long. It reaches its closest point to Earth on March 8th. Even a small telescope provides a dramatic view. During the winter, the sun's path appears low in the sky and the days are short. On the day of the equinox, the sun rises exactly in the east and sets exactly in the west, and day and night are equal length. The vernal equinox, heralding the beginning of the change in seasons from winter to spring, occurs on March 20th. After the equinox, the sun will appear higher and higher in the sky, and the days will grow longer. These changes are due to the tilt of Earth's axis as it travels around the sun. 2009 is the International Year of Astronomy. Celebrate by exploring the night sky from your own backyard. <laughs>